my hair for example you know i once called a salon and sent pictures consultation blah 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 and then when i had my fro this lady told me two thousand five hundred dollars and i was shook like i was traumatized why would i see two thousand five hundred dollars let's go hello beautiful people and welcome back again to my channel you're highly welcome if it's your first time my name is ego Riet. yes we go by our youtube name my name is ego Riet, and over here you know again i rebranded so now we focus on locks hair maintenance you know everything locks i'm trying to educate people more on locks based on the questions i get on my instagram sometimes and also we'll be throwing in some fashion hauls for sure and last but not the least i'm really really trying to get into like vlogging although it's not easy i won't lie but lifestyle vlogs as well so yeah that's basically me if you like what you see so far and you're just starting the video then please do well to like comment share subscribe and all the good stuff all right so today we're going to be talking about the cons of getting locks maybe you know before you go sit down to get your locks watch this my dear ladies i'm not so sure about men but you can watch this too but yeah today i'll be talking about the consequences of getting locks like the cons you know i'm sorry i'm looking down i have my notes on my on the phone so yeah but anyways sit back relax enjoy not to make this too long let's get right into it i will link unless i i reshoot it but i already shot the pros of getting locks which you know i'll probably link somewhere on the screen however this might go up first if that makes sense it will go up first i believe so yeah let's get into it so the first one i don't know about other countries but in canada whoo, <laughs> okay let me break that down further I don't know about other countries i know u.s locks is like a thing but the canadian community just started embracing locks i'll say it became really popular maybe within the last two or three years or at least from what i know so getting a good loctician is quite hard even me i'm trying to be a loctician like there's money in that business okay but getting a okay sorry i was looking at something but getting a good loctician is quite hard to find and I've had all the sagas. So right now, the lady who interlocks my hair, I'll link her details down below, her IG handle. She's so good. She's not the one who did my installations, but she's the one who maintains my locks. She's so good, so friendly, so nice. She knows her work. You're in and out. Sit on her chair, you're out. I once had a loctician that used 12 hours to interlock my hair. Like we start at 11 a.m. or 10 a.m. in the morning, and we're done at midnight. 12 hours to interlock the hair and then i also had once i had once i once had oh, english i once had another loctician who would do my hair but it's never shiny like what i mean is she does the hair but it's not it's not looking like hair you just did like the the edges are not tight not tight or they don't look well interlocked or retightened i don't know how to put it but it just looks very dull it looks like hair that already had like three weeks in but I just did it like yesterday. So all I'm saying is these people will charge you when they don't even know what they're doing. So finding a good loctician can be a hassle. I know like my country, for example, I'm originally from Cameroon. They are not good. They are not like, I wouldn't say good locticians because locks is not even that common. It's not as beginning to be a thing of which is still not a thing like that. So it can be really hard to find a very good efficient loctician that knows what they're doing and the price range works for you just saying so think of that before locking your hair do your research read reviews um if you're in canada i got you you can use the person who interlocks my i know they want to tell good people um in the states i can link the person who did my installations while she was here like once you have a good loctician your life is easy because they will advise you on how to take care of your locks they will care for you they would you know like life made easy right so yeah second point is cost of installation and upkeep now people have this mentality that locks is cheap and there are two sides to this story okay locks is cheap in the long run by all means i'll say yes it's cheap in the long run and that'll be my pros video like pros of locking your hair 
But you see the upfront cost, installation cost is not big, so it's not bonbon, it's not candy, okay? Lux is expensive upfront. However, though, in the long run, you'll be really thankful you got your hair locked. But it's so expensive in the long run. It's crazy. Sorry, in the short run. So my hair, for example, you know, I once called a salon and sent pictures, consultation, blah, blah, blah. And then when I had my fro, which I saw, I showed you guys a little video, a short clip of my fro in the video of how to moisturize your locks. Is it how to moisturize your locks? I think, yeah. I'll link it anyway somewhere on the screen. This lady told me $2,500. And I was shook. Like, I was traumatized. Where would I see $2,500 from? And it's insane. And most people are scared to, like, pay such huge amount of money. But I get them because the freedom, the flexibility that will be for the pros video. But it's mind-blowing. It's so expensive up front because... It's like a lifetime thing. I mean, you're keeping it for life. People say you can come out your locks, which you can, but I don't think I'll come out my locks. I think I'll just cut it because why would I waste time combing out locks that was to break my hair, if that makes sense. But so because it's a lifetime thing and you're gonna save in the long run, it's so expensive upfront. So bear in mind, locks range anywhere from eight hundred dollars. I mean, the least I've heard is nine hundred dollars, but anywhere from nine hundred dollars. So even 3000 and up based on hair length, volume, density, and texture, if that makes sense. So yeah, I think volume and density is the same thing, but you get the point. So, you know, another thing with locks, which is going to my third point, is you can't do slick hairstyles. So locks, if you're someone who likes to switch up your hair, you're in a wig today, you're you're having a ponytail tomorrow you've done crochet tomorrow evening in the morning you decide oh no you want box braids full any braids then locks might not be for you however though with locks you still have the possibility of wearing your wigs you cannot do a slick ponytail though i know one or two people are obsessed with slick ponytails so for sure they can never do locks because they like they want the hair that they can gel slick down everything that's not locks if you have my type of hair and head you can't even do wigs like for me to do wigs, I would have to braid my hair really, really tiny, like really small. And you nobody got time for that. Like my cornrows have to, I probably have to do like 20-ish cornrows, I believe, if I want to wear a wig. And I really don't have time for that. But yeah, so there's kind of a limitation in that domain when it comes to sister locks, um, traditional locks, micro locks. Probably with micro, you can even do more than my size of locks. However, though... Again, I know this is a cons video, but I can't lie. You can still be very creative with your locks. Like, if you use your head, your mental, you still slay, okay? Locks is like, very versatile. That's all I'll say. So yeah, so think about it if you think you can do locks. I mean, if your hair is not as thick, you know, you have maybe fine hair and stuff, you can still do your crochet, everything while it's locking up because people still wear wigs, like I know a few people that still wear wigs but somebody like me my hair volume the thickness the hassle to even get it done yeah i'd rather not be bothered so think about that okay there's a limitation in that domain of hairstyles that's all i'll say another thing is information on locks or about locks is so limited and that's what pushed me to start doing videos about my locks because i have quite a few friends who want to do locks and quite a few strangers on instagram will be like where did you lock your hair? What's the cause? How do you maintain your hair? Can you take your hair down? Um, will your hair break? Like, you know, how do you do other styles on your hair? You know, like, who locks your hair? Where did you do your hair? There is limited information. Again, I can only speak for Canada because I'm based in GTA, in the GTA, Greater Toronto Area in Canada. And there's limited information because, again, it's not that that popular yet like it's getting there but the exposure is not there so the few people that are in it everybody has their own information some people will say oh when you have locks don't dye your hair at all till it's 100% locked and locks can range your hair can take anywhere from 
from six months to even up to a year and a half to fully get locked like meaning my hair like took a while to get locked because again my texture is different most people see my hair and think i have just twist because it doesn't look like the normal traditional locks that is round at the end right it's kind of spiky my 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 tips are like i don't know if you can see it i don't know the light is a little much but yeah so that is the issue where you know so people say don't dye your hair till your hair is completely locked another person will tell you you can dye your hair immediately another person will say avoid washing your hair too much at the beginning because you know you get slippage and it can unravel like i said baby locks easily tend to unravel another person will tell you no wash your hair no scalp build up another person will tell you don't use conditioners in your hair um i'm one of those that is with the school of thought that if you're like if your locks are baby locks do not use conditioners at the beginning however a few locticians will tell you there's no harm in using conditioners i've heard a loctician say that at the beginning so you really have to do your research and know who you're talking to it can get very confusing it can like make you be like what am i doing at the end of the day right so yeah what i'll say is do your research do your research do your research the law community is who ha hina that's all i'll say like everybody has a say everybody has an opinion Everybody will say, use the Sister Lux shampoo when you start. Oh my God, how can you not be using the Sister Lux shampoo? Your hair will unravel, your hair with this, your hair would use a rubber band method. What I showed you guys in the last one, because if you don't do it, your own has come. It is finished, the end. However, I didn't use it. I didn't die. My locks didn't unravel. So I'm just trying to say like, everybody has their own opinion and it can feel really confusing. And that's why I decided to create this segment on my channel, okay? So those are the five cons, I don't know, to five. Yeah, so those are things you should consider before locking your hair. Cost, especially. Um, are you a lock type of person? I If you're the type of person that wants flexibility, you want to have control of your time, okay? You want to be happy, then by all means do locks. I'm not saying with other hairstyles you cannot be happy before anybody comes from me. I'm just saying locks gives a freedom that you cannot understand, to be honest. However, though, it has its limitations, like everything in life. So, yeah, I don't want to make this video too long. That's all I have for today. I'm so sorry if, you know, at times it looks like I'm looking at the camera, looking at the phone. I should have said this at the beginning. It's because I'm filming with two devices. I want to see which one is clearer to post. But, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. Everything your other YouTubers say applies to this channel in terms of actions, okay? But I'll see you next time. And until then, stay safe because there's a flu going around. Stay healthy. Keep warm. Stay safe. I'm wearing my sweater because Toronto is beginning to act up. But take care, guys. Thank you. Mwah.